beautiful girls, welcome in. I'm so, so honored and happy to have you with me today. We have a very important topic to talk about. I'm going to teach you how to fall in love with your body, your body, your appearance, just who you are as a woman overall. So let's go ahead and get started. Everyone who's joining live, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. We will go ahead and chat at the end. So the place that this video idea came from is a TikTok question that I had received the other day and it broke my heart and it, or my heart and it really made me upset. The question was, Alexis, how come I don't feel in my feminine energy because I'm not skinny? And I got really upset because I thought I must not be getting the clear message out of what it means to be in your feminine energy. You being skinny has nothing to do with your feminine energy. And I'm going to teach you why that is. So the first part of this lesson, it's going to be talking about what true feminine energy is because it has nothing to do with what your body looks like. So feminine energy, it's about your inner being. It's about your essence. It is about the energy that you are exuding. It does not matter what your body looks like because no physical feature can outshine your energetic beauty. You girls know that I always tell you that. It doesn't matter if you are skinny, if you are overweight, it does not matter. It's how you feel on the inside. Your best body is going to be when you are the healthiest, when you love your body the most, and when you feel the most confident in it. That's when it's going to be the most beautiful. And the more that you try to, what I would say, shape shift and change your body into a type that is not your natural type, the more disconnected from your feminine energy you will be. And it's because you're pushing away who you are at the core. You're saying, I don't accept myself. I'm not good enough. I need to change. You will never be in your feminine energy if you don't already love who you are. So don't try to change your body. Don't try to be another body type. Decide what your healthiest most beautiful, most radiant body is, and that is your ideal body type. So I'm going to teach you a few practical things to actually learn to love your body. The first one is what I would call the Marilyn Monroe effect. I want you to pull a Marilyn Monroe. So if you don't know about Marilyn Monroe too much, when she was living, I think, I'm trying to remember what time period she was in, but at the time, the ultimate standard of beauty for a woman was to be extremely thin. Marilyn Monroe's body was not extremely thin. She was more on the curvy side. Marilyn Monroe does something that changes life for every single woman in the future. And you have the ability to do what she's going to do. So Marilyn Monroe comes along in this time where being stick thin is the ideal beauty type. And she goes, hmm, I have curves. And I actually love my curves. I feel so womanly. I feel so sexy. So I'm going to block out what the beauty standard is at this moment and be my own beauty standard. I love my body and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy it. She attracts people like crazy because she is walking around in this energy of my body is the most womanly. My body is the most sexy and I love it. Why do you think men are so magnetized to her? It's because she has this energy. So whatever your body is, block out the outside beauty standard and determine this is a new beauty standard. When I fall in love with my body, other people fall in love with my body too. And more of the science, the side of it is because people are a mirror of you. The energy that you are giving out, every single living being has an energetic field radiating around them. That's why I always talk about vibrations and frequencies. You give off energy that other people can feel. So if your field is low with energy because you're trying to change your body because you don't love who you are, because you're trying to switch to another beauty standard, your vibrational frequency is very low. And as a result, you are not going to attract people who love and appreciate who you are. You're not going to feel good in your body. The higher you raise your vibration and you doing that and you do this by saying, this is the body that I have, I'm going to love it. It is so womanly and beautiful to me. Your vibrational frequency raises and people come to you like crazy. This is why Marilyn Monroe is so popular because she showed up in a time with this high vibration, with this mindset and she loved her body and other people loved it too as a result. Something else that I want to say too is you have 
one body in this lifetime. And everybody has a natural body type. Of course, you can change it by plastic surgery if you'd like to, but you have a certain body type. You cannot change it. So you either learn to love it or you live a struggle life. An example of this from my own life. When I was growing up in middle school, I hated having curly hair. I hated it. Every single morning I would wake up and straighten my hair. It destroyed my hair, first of all, and it made me feel very insecure because every morning I was reaffirming to myself, not good enough. There's something that you need to change. And one day, one of my friends had said to me, Alexis, why don't you wear your hair curly? It's very beautiful. Notice how that beauty standard, it suddenly awoke a new one, or it suddenly woke up a new one in me. Where I had thought the beauty standard was straight hair, I heard another woman say, actually curly hair is beautiful. Stopped straightening my hair, started wearing it curly, fell in love with my curls. Now I love them. So if you are living by one beauty standard, imagine the other ones that you haven't even heard of yet. This video is your wake up call to tell you there is another beauty standard. Your mind is limited. Everybody's mind is limited. So decide that you get to be the standard of beauty and decide that you're going to let go of the one that you've been living by especially if it's not putting you in the highest vibration. That's another key point too. If you don't feel the ultimate level of beauty and radiance, you are not at the highest vibrational frequency, which, which means that you are living according to a belief that does not truly align with who you are. All right, I have an, a lot of notes here, so I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Yes, okay, on that note too, the standard of beauty is literally always changing. Look at the Kardashians. They had BBLs and all this plastic surgery for years and years, and it impacted our culture. Every other woman started getting it. Now that they take out their plastic surgery and they want to be super, super thin, that is now the new trend. So the beauty standard, it's always going to change. It's going to go like this your whole life. You can either decide to go with it, you're gonna go on a roller coaster, or you can decide, I am the standard of beauty, and I get to continue going up from what I currently am. So choose to be your own standard of beauty. If you feel, oh, I'm not, or all of the marketing says that I'm not, you are letting one person's belief control your life. You are way more powerful than that. All right, so back to the point that I said where everyone is a mirror of you. So Marilyn Monroe, her energy, because she carried that energy, I love my body, and it's so womanly, and my curves make me feel so sexy, people mirrored that back to you. And people are always, always mirroring back your energy. That is why those times when you're on such a high and you feel so good, you feel like everything's working out for you, it is, because your vibration is at that high frequency, and people are mirroring that back to you. So imagine what people will mirror back to you if you say, my body is the most beautiful. I'm so confident in it and I love it. Imagine what people will mirror back to you. A perfect example of this. So there's this movie that a lot of you girls I know have already seen it and it's called I Feel Pretty. I'm trying to think of the actress who's in it. I think it's Rebel, no not Rebel Wilson, Amy Schumer's in it. Okay, this is such a great movie, especially if you love chick flicks. It's called I Feel Pretty. And in the movie, I won't spoil it for you, but she is a woman who is considered overweight. She's doing a soul cycle class one day and she falls off the bike, hits her head, and when she wakes up, she sees another woman looking back in the mirror at her. She sees someone um, who is super, super thin, who looks like she could be a supermodel in magazines. That's who she sees when she looks in the mirror. Something happens when she hits her head. As a result, she changes her life and starts walking around as if she's that woman that she sees back in the mirror. Everyone else around here, or around her though, this is the funniest part of the movie, they still see how she normally is, but her energy changes. She starts leveling up her dating life. She starts wearing different clothes, applying for different jobs, being open for different relationships. The movie is so beautiful because it highlights the way you see you affects the opportunities and people you receive. She receives the best people and opportunities in her life with this new mindset, even though she has not changed at all. Only her energy has. That is exactly how life is. Your energy changes and people respond to you. It doesn't matter your body. 
All right, this is moving on to the second part. So find the parts of your body that you do love and water it. Water it as if it's a plant. And what I mean by that is just nourish it, praise it, fill those parts up. So for example, if your body is more on the curvy side, your way of watering your body would be, I love my curves. I feel so womanly, so sexy, so feminine with them. I love the way that my hips are. I love the way that my boobs are. I love the way that my thighs are. They're so feminine and sexy to me. Let's say that you're more on the leaner or the skinnier side. The way that you nourish your body is very similar. You would say something like, I love how lean my body feels. I feel so good in my skin. I love the way that my muscles are just glowing. Fill your body with the love and the nourishment that it needs. And your body will literally grow like a flower when you water it. So this is something so fascinating to me too. So I always love the scientific side of things. My girls who are in the Master Your Feminine Energy course, do you remember that part in the course where we're talking about fertility and the different parts of your body that reveal fertility? So there is a part on our body that a lot of us girls call the pooch. It's that part of that stomach that sticks out a little bit. So many women try to hide this and they hate this, but my girl, let me tell you, this is one of the sexiest parts of your body. You know why? It's because it shows your fertility. Men, when they see this, they're literally obsessed too. It's because that pooch, it covers your uterus and your uterus, it literally screams fertility. So the parts of your body that you might be trying to hide or you might be trying to shame, they're actually the most beautiful parts. So stop hiding them, start embracing them. If you like that sort of stuff, more of the science side and the deeper knowledge, the inner work, definitely join the course because there's so many pieces of advice that I give you that go along with this message. Another example in my own life, so I told you girls that I always tried to change my hair. Something else that I always tried to change was my stretch marks. I have a lot of stretch marks on my butt. And when I was growing up, I was so, I grew so, so quick. And my butt grew really quick too. And I used to always use these types of oils and lotions to try to make my stretch marks go away. I really hated them. Then one day as I started doing my own deeper inner work, I realized actually I love my stretch marks because without them I would never have this amazing butt that I have. I would never have these hips. So as I started to water the parts of my body that I loved, the things that I thought were flaws actually became things that I could not live without and didn't want to live without. So whatever it is that you might feel is a flaw or you might feel is a downfall, find the side of it that is actually giving you a blessing and then it will no longer feel like a flaw to you. All right, what else did I want to say? Yes, I, I have to say this too. I guarantee there is at least one feature on your body right now that you love. Even if you don't know it yet, I guarantee you every single person has one. And it doesn't matter if you have hated your body your whole life growing up. It doesn't matter how maybe you feel insecure right now. You have the ability to love your body. I know that it is possible because I have had this shift in my own life. When I was younger, I used to do modeling. And so that industry really made me hard on my body. I never loved my body growing up. It was through deep inner work, which we do together here in this community, that I learned to love my body. And what's so fascinating, the more you love your body, the more it becomes your dream body, meaning physical changes start to come. That's leading into the next point here. You can only have your dream body when you love it first, and then it comes. So an example of this, so during COVID, in the beginning of COVID, I did not have my ideal body. And it's because I was sitting home, I was, I, that was the first time in my life that I felt super depressed. And I went through a really deep healing and inner work journey in that first year of COVID. And a lot of things changed on my body because of my energy and because of the way that I felt about myself. I was over my ideal and healthy weight. My skin was not the best. My gut health was not the best. I just didn't love my body. As I started doing more inner work, I realized I had been punishing my body. I had been doing a lot of restricting with food. I had been holding a lot of stress in my body, which was causing more of a weight gain and causing a lot of physical symptoms to manifest in my body. And I had a lot of trauma that I needed to release. 
As I started doing more and more inner work, guess what happened? My body shifted and weight just fell off. My body just became so much healthier and I felt so much more beautiful in it. My skin became more clear and glowing. Even my face shape changed. This is the craziest thing, my girl. So a lot of people will see older pictures of me from maybe like four or five years ago. And they will say that's not the same person. And I have never had plastic surgery done, never touched my face. All that I've done is inner work. The more that I have healed and released trauma, released stress, rebalanced my nervous system, my face shape changed. You hold things in your body physically until you release them. We hold trauma. We hold trauma in our hips. We hold it in our face. So the more inner work you do, the more your body starts to shift and change. That is why healing is so powerful. That's why women, when they go through a healing journey, they look different. They have a glow up. This is the glow up. It's shedding old weight. And I'm not talking about physical weight. I'm talking about the weight of trauma and just things that we're holding on to that no longer serve us. Your body will change. Another key point here too is I'm not saying that you have to love every part of your body immediately. There's something with affirmations that is really, really important to know. You can say an, affirma you can say an affirmation such as, I'm rich, I'm wealthy. But if you don't feel it, nothing is going to change because your words and your vibrational frequency have to match to actually make an impact. So this means that the love and the watering that you give your body, while you are having the shift in taking care of your body, you have to actually practice feeling it. Shift into the vibration of how would the best, most healthiest, sexiest version of me feel? And then you start talking that way, you start dressing that way, you start acting that way. You are making your vibrational frequency match the desire, match the affirmations that you're giving yourself. So you don't have to start off completely loving your body. Decide my body is worth loving. I'm going to love it despite everything. And everything else will fall in line and you will love it more and more and more over time. All right, what else did I wanna say here? Okay, here's the bonus tip too. And this one is always so hard to talk about on YouTube because I have to be so careful what I say. The more that you embrace your sexuality, the more you will love your body. What do I mean by this? So your sensuality, it is aligned with the dark feminine version of you. So when you start to explore things such as living a life that's full of pleasure, learning how to respect yourself and be assertive, be direct, be powerful, your body starts to feel safer and safer into shifting into the most beautiful, the most healthy, the most sexy version. When you do things that align with the sexuality energy that you carry, things such as dancing and um, there's a lot of rituals that just make your body feel good, your body starts to change. And a huge part of this too, I had talked about in the Master Your Feminine Energy course. There's that whole section on light and dark feminine energy. My girls that are already in there, go back to that course, revisit the part on dark feminine energy, where we talk all about sexuality. Unfortunately, I cannot put too much of it on YouTube because I would get banned, so I put it in the course there. There's a lot of deep work. And I know that there's a lot of shame with our sexuality today as women. There should not be any shame with it. The course is designed to help you remove the shame and embrace the deeper parts of your feminine energy. So the more you explore that side of you, the easier it becomes to love your body. I do a lot of heels dance classes with my girlfriends. And when you go to these classes, it is the most amazing thing. It is like the ultimate place to embrace your sensuality. Heels dance classes, all that it is, is it's a really sensual form of dancing when you're wearing heels. So you usually learn a dance routine in about one to two hours to a very beautiful, usually R&B type song. While you're doing that, your hips are moving, your body is rolling, and you're learning how to just go with the flow, be in tune with the music, let go and release control. That is you embracing your sensuality. The way that the girls in this class love their body is more powerful than anything I've ever seen. Women from all different shapes and sizes, when they're in their flow and dancing in this class, they activate that dark feminine, they activate that sensuality, and they just love their body so much. If you have a heels dance class near you, 
I highly recommend that you join one. It's going to be so transformative in your life. An affirmation that I have for you too, and we're going to take some questions in just a little bit. So an affirmation that I have for you, literally it says it on this cup. It is my honor to love and nourish my body. This quote is going to take, this affirmation is going to take you so far in life. It is your honor to love and nourish your body. God made you responsible for your sacred temple. Nobody else can take care of it as well as you can. That is why you are given this body. Take care of it as best as you can. Also view your body as a garden. My body is a garden. I love nourishing it. I love watering it. My body is a garden. One day I was in such a creative mood that I designed these mugs. So if you want one, you can get one on thefeminineglow.com. That's also where my course is and coaching is available for you. All right, again, the quote that I always, always tell you girls, no physical feature can outshine your energetic beauty. Always, always remember that. It does not matter what you look like. It matters the energy that you carry. Trust that and make sure that you are taking care of your body the best that you can. That is how you learn to love it. All right, my girls, let me take some of your questions. Also, for those who do want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, the wait list right now is about three to five months. I'm so sorry it's so long. There's so many amazing women that are on this list that have been waiting to do coaching. So I do it on a first-come, first-served basis. If you want to sign up, you can go ahead and do that on the website. I do have the course too, which is very, very similar to coaching, but instead at your own pace. It is the blueprint that I would have given myself when I was really trying to level up in my feminine energy and inner work journey. So that is the Become Your Dream Woman and Master Your Feminine Energy course. Ooh, pole dancing is another incredible way to activate your dark feminine energy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Whenever I'm coaching my girls and their body is stiff or they're having trouble connecting to the dark feminine, I tell them, find a pole dance class near you, girl. Your body deserves it. How to stop overeating and feeling bad. I feel like I'm obese after. Lily, yes. Okay, I went through something very similar because I would always punish and restrict myself and then do more of the binge eating when I was younger. So how I stopped doing this is I, number one, became conscious of the emotions that I was feeling when I had that unhealthy relationship with food. So let's say that I had an urge to eat a ton of food at one time. I would sit and think, what is the emotion that I'm feeling right now? For me, it was usually stress or it was insecurity. Sometimes for me too, it was when I was really, really happy. That's when I'd want to eat. And the more inner work that I did, I realized those connections were tied to deeper parts of my childhood. I had a lot of abuse growing up when I was younger and my family's way of coping with that a lot was by eating food, snacking especially. So for me, whenever I feel triggered, I will go to food because when I was younger, it was a comfort. If you can be aware of that trigger, that is how you change it. I started looking at my body as that garden, literally as we were just talking about, and saying, what would I pour into my body if I really treated it as that garden? And then I no longer had the urge to eat as much food. It's a form of self-sabotage and a form of punishing. I don't punish my garden because I love my garden. It's so worthy of being nourished. Excuse me. So switch your perspective to, I'm going to stop punishing my body and start treating it like a garden. What would nourish it the most? The more self-love you have, the easier it is to stop using things like food and social media and men as ways of coping. Because your body is so full of love, you only want the best for it. It becomes easy to fill it with healthy, nutritious foods. All right, great, great question. Great question, Marisol, yes. How to feel comfortable moving your body while being with a man? Yes, okay, we had talked about this in the course. This is such a good question. Before doing anything with your man, you have to be comfortable doing it on your own. And how you're going to be comfortable doing it on your own is allowing your body to become fluid. Feminine energy is all about fluidity. And fluidity, I wish that I had a clear cup to show you girls. Fluidity, it's like movement of a liquid. 
this is how feminine energy is. So what I want you to start doing, Marisol, is to allow your body to just move freely. When you are excited, jump, dance around, sing, whatever you want to do. When you feel really stressed and really tense, I want you to dance. Turn on some music, move your hips around, that will release a lot of stress. Just let your body flow, shake the anxiety out. I also want you to practice the way that you walk. How would the most confident version of you walk? This is something I totally meant to mention when we were talking about Mar uh, Marilyn Monroe. When you walk into the grocery store, or anywhere that you're going to go, the gym, work, whatever, carry yourself in the energy of, I am the most confident, the most sexy, the most powerful woman, and watch your life change. Watch how people respond to you differently. Even if you don't feel this way yet, do it, because you are practicing and reprogramming your mind. So Marisol, be comfortable showing up as that goddess who is in love with her body. Be comfortable moving your hips around. Just practice. You don't have to get it perfect on the first time. It doesn't have to feel normal the first time. The more you do it, the more natural for your body it becomes. And when you are so unapologetic in the way that you show up, it is so magnetic. Something else that I used to do too. So when I was with my a previous partner, I used to always have trouble dancing in front of him and just like being silly, just being fun. And I realized it's because I was so in my head and I kept thinking, he's gonna judge me. You know what I realized? Men are obsessed when you are in your feminine and showing that fluidity. So when you can dance and just flow and release, as I would call it, they cannot help but stare. It's because they are around masculine energy all day. When you give them that opening and that, that pouring of feminine energy just flows out of you by moving your body around, their eyes are glued to you. It is like a whole other reality for them. So that is something for you to know, Marisol. Your man is not paying attention. He's not thinking, oh, she's moving her arm funny. No, he is just obsessed with how magnetic you are. So keep practicing it. Maybe just turn on some music and say, I have a dance to show you. Do that for like 10 seconds and then say the rest is coming later. Just allow yourself to be pushed outside of that comfort zone and then it will feel normal for you. I literally had no problem dancing for him after I kept doing this more and more. I swear I walk different after leaving the gym than before I go. You just said it. Yep. So if in one hour you doing something that can energize and take care of your body switches the way that you walk, imagine the way that you talk about your body. If you do that over and over again in a beautiful and a very powerful way, imagine the way that your body will become different. Our body is a sacred temple. Dance is healing. Dancing is healing. Yes, beautiful. I feel embarrassed walking in heels, especially in public. Any advice? Iwa, great question, girl. And I, I get this question a lot. So, man, let me think of what I did to switch this, because I had the same feeling. I started realizing I have one life. I don't know how many years I'm going to be able to wear heels. So I am not going to change the way that I feel, the way that I walk, so that other people can feel comfortable. I used to be such a people pleaser, and when I was a people pleaser, I was conscious of how I was dressing, how I was walking, everything. So Iwa, I think the deep inner work that your body is looking for right now is how to let go of the people pleasing habits. How to decide that the way you desire to show up outweighs anyone else's opinion. Now when I wear heels, I wear heels literally everywhere, like to the grocery store I'll wear them. People's heads turn. Sometimes men will try to pay for my groceries. They'll always let me go first in line. Oh, you're, you're in heels. Uh, here, go ahead, go in front of me. There's so many opportunities that open up for you when you decide, I'm gonna dress the best that I can. I have one life. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to wear heels for. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do it. So just, just do it. That's how you get over the fear. How to get rid of the desire to be skinny as Victoria's Secret models. Remove everyone from your social media that has that body type and instead start following women who have a body type that is similar to yours. What I used to do, so there were even things like certain ethnicities or ethnicities that I really, really loved and I always wish I could be like them. And one day I said, I wonder if I just have this desire because they're all over my feed. 
So I started unfollowing the women who did not look like me and started following women who did look like me. So I'll tell you an actual example. Women like, okay, I love this woman, Candace Swanepoel, the Victoria's Secret Angel. I loved her, but I had to unfollow her because years ago, I was not as secure in myself as I am today. So when I saw her pictures, it constantly reaffirmed, oh, I want to be like her, I want to look like her, have the blonde hair, have the body that she has. I stopped following her and I started following Lice. Do you guys know who Lice is? A Victoria's Secret model? Her name is L-A-I-S. So when I started following her, I noticed that my confidence and my self-worth really, really boosted. It's because when I would open Instagram, I would see the standard of beauty is a woman that looks like me. That was being reaffirmed to me. So you do the same thing. And then when you get to a point where you do feel secure, you can follow whoever you want because they're no longer a threat to you. Change the standard of beauty again. Remember what I said earlier? The trend in 10 years is going to be the BBL fashion and culture again. So right now, maybe it's skinny, but in 10 years, it won't be. So stop trying to go with the standard of beauty that's always changing. And if it's always changing, how is it true? It can't be. Otherwise, it would never change. Decide that you are the standard of beauty instead. Okay. I feel awkward and stiff being skinny as if I'm see-through. Do you have any tips? Yes, so my little sister felt this way her whole life growing up. She was super, super thin. And what I started telling her is Girl, do you know how many women wish that they had your body? So if you had to step outside of yourself for a second and you got to see that you were blessed with your body type for a specific reason, God gave you that body, and you know the only thing that is going to change the way that you feel about yourself is your mind, not your body, your mind, start doing the inner work to change your perception of yourself. So like I said earlier, what are the affirmations that you would give yourself if you're more on the lean or the skinny side? I love the way that my muscles glow. I love how lean my body feels. I love how light and energized I feel. That's affirmation that you give yourself. How do you talk so gracefully? I wanna learn how to talk like you. Much love from India. Oh, thank you so much, girl. And. You know what? This question has been coming up so much. I'm going to put it in the new business course that I'm coming out with. How to communicate better. How to communicate from your feminine energy. It's a great question. Irene, hey Alexis. Thank you so much for showing up and shining. You blaze the trail for all of us too. Such an amazing leader. Literally have seen such a shift within me since following you. Irene, thank you girl. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so proud of you girls. Oh my gosh, the messages that you send me about the inner work that you're doing, the transformations that you're having, it makes me so proud and so honored to be with you. So thank you girls for including me as a part of your journey. I am so grateful for you. What, what it was your inner work, what did you do? So my inner work, oh girl, that could be a whole other video. I'm still doing inner work constantly to this day. The deepest, the most important inner work that I've ever done, I've put it in the Master of Feminine Energy course. That is the blueprint that I wish I could have handed my younger self of all the inner work that I needed to get me to this point. And I have a ton of videos on YouTube all about inner work. So my inner work, I, let me think of a few things off the top of my head. I had a very anxious attachment style. That was something that I really had to do a lot of work with. I had a lot of people pleasing, nice girl tendencies. My dark feminine energy was really buried in my body for a long time. I had to pull that up. That took a lot of inner work. My body used to be very stiff. I used to be so self-conscious. That was a lot of inner work that I did too. There's, oh, even with the men that I was attracting, that was a huge, huge part of my inner work journey. Healing my own father wound, healing mother wounds. I could go on and on, but I'm so grateful for everything that I've experienced. I'm so grateful for the trauma that I experienced. I would never be here. I would have never been led to even do inner work and to show up with you girls. All right, my girls, I'm gonna take one more question. I finally have my kombucha back with me. I love how one of you said in the last video, you said, Alexis, where's your kombucha? It was a sad day. I didn't have any. 
Do you think sleep meditation works? Yes, Flo. I have done, okay, I will try to put the, um, I did like an inner child meditation in my sleep. I did this for a week straight after a really bad breakup I had gone through. I woke up on such a high, like that whole day I felt more confident, more secure in myself. It was the craziest thing. It was just affirmations such as, it is safe to be seen. Uh, you are loved and you are worthy. It was affirmations like that. I, let me, I don't have a pen right now, but I'll make sure to put that in the description for you girls. Yes, Marisol, doing hip release exercises and therapy has allowed me to love my body more since I was creating time to take care of my body and mind. Beautiful, yes. Hip opening exercises, we had talked about this in the course so much, how important they are. So much trauma is stored in our hips. So when you release that, you shift more into your feminine energy. I really love your hair today. Thank you, Anita. Thank you so much, girl. I did this hairstyle accidentally last night and now I'm obsessed with it. Is it the one from Jessica Heslop? Yes, oh my gosh, Alma, how did you know that? Yes, it's Jessica Heslop's inner child sleep meditation. It's about eight hours long, yeah. Ooh, okay, this is a good question. Ani says, what do you do when the people that you live with are in such a low vibration and you're an empath? I stay in my room all day just because of it. Yes, so I had a family member that was very similar like this and I'm also an empath. So what you have to do, girl, is spend time every day focusing on the life that you dream of. Meaning, when you leave this house, when you are no longer surrounded by these family members, what are the things that just excite you? For me, it was the thought of possibly living near a beach. It was things such as being able to make money in my sleep, to be financially free. It was all of the beautiful destinations that I wanted to travel to. It was the way that the empowered version of me wanted to dress. So if you make a vision board, and you look at it in these moments, that is going to fill you and raise your vibration and help you stay there. I understand it's very hard when you live with lower vibration people. Spend less time and energy with them because we can always try to blame them. Well, they have low energy. Pull your energy away, put it into the things that fill you up and make you feel good. And give yourself lots of alone time, especially if you are an empath and focus on shifting into that vibration. What feels good in my body? What excites me? What am I going to pour my energy, my creativity into? That is what I did. And slowly, here's the craziest thing too. When you raise your vibrational frequency, people either raise with you or they fall off. So the more that you can hold that high vibration, the more that that person is going to fall off. You guys are not going to be a match energetically. So lots of alone time. I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I just remembered. I have a special guest, Louie. Hi, bud. Can you wake up? <laughs> okay, he's asleep. I told you girls on Instagram, he kept wanting to cuddle when I was trying to make the notes for this video. <laughs> I told you I was gonna bring up today. Come here, bud. Woo! <laughs> this is Bluey, everyone. Hi, bud. Can you say hi? <laughs> he's actually not mine. He's my neighbor's, but I'm just watching him for her while she is traveling. Hi. Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> Let's see. You are always beautiful and I love your voice and your smile. I hope you know you help so many women. God bless you. Thank you so much, my sweet girl. Oh, I love you girl so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your amazing questions. Please, please let me know what you would like to see next. I love your suggestions. I love your ideas. And remember my girls, that quote that I said earlier, there is no physical feature that can ever outshine your energetic beauty. Your body is your garden. It is your honor to love and nourish it. I'm so proud of you for all the inner work that you've been doing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, girl.